thanks for tuning in to Prissy Beauty. Today I have a review for you of some of the brushes that I really, really think are very, very much worth their money and they are super versatile and you can use for all kinds of different things and I'm talking about the Real Techniques brushes. Um, in the US you can find them um, at Ulta, you can buy them online, um, Amazon will have them, eBay will have them, and I warn you now that eBay is probably not the best place to find them, but um, I got good deals initially with Amazon, and then eventually I got a buy one, get one half off at Ulta. And this was a couple of weeks ago, not a month ago. So stay tuned with the Ulta's circular because they do have promotional you know items all the time so these brushes might come again so this so this one is the starter set and this is the eye set uh, brush kit I'm not very good with this um, uh, case because as soon as I got the brushes I just took them all out and put in my uh, brush holders so I don't know exactly how to use this I apologize anyway so I'm gonna start it comes with the uh, deluxe crease brush which is this round top chubby brush and I'll talk about how I use them eventually obviously they were designed to be used for the eyes a lot of people don't like synthetic uh, bristles for the eyes and by the way speaking of synthetic bristles all Real Techniques brushes are made out of uh, a very high uh, quality fiber called Taclon and it's all synthetic so everything you have you can use with liquid products cream products and powders um, a lot of people don't like the performance of these synthetic brushes for the eyes with the powder and I'm, I'm kind of like one of them. I used for the eyes once or twice and I wasn't crazy about the performance um, with the regular eyeshadow so I started using them for, for different things which became my favorite way to go but I will talk about it in a bit. Um, this one here is the base shadow brush and it's um, tapered little you know a little chubby too this could be good for blending um you know eyeshadows and things like that and then it comes with the brow brush which i also don't use for brows but that that's another story then it comes in with the accent brush which is always good to have for your inner um the inner part of your eyes or the, your tear duct or just like a, a darker color under you know um, your lower lash line, things like that. And then it comes with the Pixel Point Eyeliner Brush, which I also don't use for eyeliners because I find them too, I find this brush too thick for that. So I even use this to just like put on my, uh, my highlight in the corner of my eye or some other thing like that. Anyhow, um, so the, this is the deluxe, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this is the starter kit for the eye. So I'm just going to tell you somewhat of what I use for these and as you can see these two are pretty dirty and I use these for concealer actually like under eye concealer. They are very very soft and they really really buff the, the concealer under your eye. I find it very easy to use for that purpose. So that's what I mostly use these brushes for. The crease brush I've used actually in the crease and it does a good job too but I have other brushes that I prefer to use for that. Then, like I mentioned before, the accent brush I use for like a little, you know, highlight in the inner corner or you can do with a darker color under your lower lash line or things like that. The brow brush, I mean, yes, it definitely works as a brow brush. I'm not crazy about filling in my brows. I never look the way, I never like the way it looks. So I use this also to apply like a darker shadow on the upper lash line or you know on the lower lash line just kind of detail brush that's what I use this one for and then this again I couldn't initially find a, a, a use for this because I found it too thick for eyeliner so I started using as well for the inner corner of my eyes and, and little details with a darker shadow as well so mostly the eye brushes I use for other functions other than using for your eyes but you're more than welcome to use them for what they were designed for. They will work as well. Then I'm going to start with, I'm going to talk about the core collection. Oh, and another thing, they are color coded. So as you notice, I mean, at least for the uh, for the sets or in some of the other brushes, we'll follow that too. The eye brushes, they're, they're purple like this. 
And now the face ones, at least some of them, are yellow. Okay, now we're starting to get where my favorite brushes are. And this one here, it's the buffing brush. It reminds, it reminds me very much of the Kabuki Sigmax Sigma line. Um, a little, maybe a little less dense and a little longer bristles than some of those, like F80 by, by Sigma. I love this brush. This is usually my to-go brush when I apply foundation or powder foundation, and it's the buffing brush. And needless to say how soft all these brushes are. I'm um, not even going to be repeating myself, but I probably will. You will never know. Anyway, so this is the buffing brush, and you can use, like I said, for for buffing in your foundation. It's wonderful for that. Uh, powder or liquid foundation, it works for both. This one here is, it's called the contour brush, but there it's kind of small for contouring, I think. So mostly what I use this for is for like a highlight here, or sometimes when you want to do the setting powder for your concealer, I use that as well. I find it for contouring, I don't know, it could work, but I had better brushes for doing that, so I don't use this for that. But it's called a contour brush. Then we have a pointed foundation brush, which is usually foundation brushes are thicker. Um, so this one here is one of those that I don't care much for. You could apply your concealer. I think instead of being called a pointed foundation brush, it should be point, it should be called a, a, a concealer brush because. Can you imagine with this tiny brush, you're gonna put foundation all over your face? This was gonna take forever. So as a concealer, though, you would, you know, you'd be better off because it really fits right under your uh, under eye area, as you can see, like this. So I don't necessarily use it because I actually use the eye brushes for a concealer, but this could be better for concealer than foundation. And then lastly, the detailer brush. You probably won't be able to see this because it's tiny. And it's very very small and you could use this as well for concealer but for the under eye it's too small as you can see I usually use this for details like what it was meant to be so concealer on blemishes around your nose things like that this brush is very nice and then we're gonna move on to the brushes that are sold individually I'm gonna start with the powder brush which is huge as you let me put on my face you can see how huge this is so obviously it's wonderful for powder, uh, for powder, you know, powdering your face over foundation and things like that. You can't much use this for anything else because if you're going to do blush, it's too big, contour, forget it. So this is definitely a powder brush and it's super soft, super, super soft. I can't even stress enough. This one sells for $10. Next, this is a newer one. This is called the um, Expert Face Brush. And it's like a chubby, almost a domey kind of shape. And this one is just as good as the buffing brush for foundation everywhere in your face. Um, it's a little denser, so it's nice. It would apply very nicely your foundation. And you can do highlight, you can contour, you can do blush, you can do whatever you want with this brush. Like I said, all these brushes, they have multiple functions, even though they were designed for one thing. Um, and even when you watch Pixie U uh, tutorials, you'll see like they'll use these brushes for a concealer just like I do. And, and so really, the, the, these brushes are wonderful. I can't stress enough. I'm like, I'm being very repetitive, but it's true. So this is the expert brush and this one costs $9. And I bought the uh, Lash Brow Groomer. The thing and that really attracted me to this brush is that the, the little calm thing here is not plastic, it's metal. And so it's a lot steadier when you need to comb your, through your lashes or even comb your eyebrows if you like to use this. Or obviously you'll use the side that is meant for your brows like that. I really, really like this one. Um, and then this also sells individually and it comes with a little protection here for the comb side. And this one um, is $6. The fine liner brush, yes, it's wonderful. It's very, very fine and it's you know it's like a dual color so the pointy part is very very easy to apply your eyeliner once they realized that this one that comes in the starter kit was too thick for an eyeliner they decided to design something that was a little thinner as you can probably see here so this one here sells individually this one comes in the starter kit 
Right. Um, this one costs six dollars as well, and you can buy them individually. Next, uh, a stippling brush. I bought this on my second haul, if you will. I bought this from Ulta. Actually, most of the individual ones I bought, I bought from Ulta because it was buy one, get one half off. This one, I was actually, I like this brush a lot and I, I like the fact that it's smaller than I thought it was. But when, when I first saw this online in the picture, I thought it was gonna be like a, a stippling, a bigger stippling brush, like the Sigma One or any other brand you have. This one, instead, is a very small brush as you can see and so a good thing about this is that it's not only smaller but it's also shorter which means it's more dense as a stippling brush I was never crazy about a stippling brush because I always think like I have no control the bristles are so long and then they become so like flexible that you have no control with the product that you're applying this one on the other hand it's not it's almost like a buffing brush but it has the tiny bit of you know the yellow fiber consider you know compared to the black part so it's a very nice product to just stipple all over your foundation and even you can use it because it's denser you can use it as a buffing brush like this okay and you can see the difference there the buffing brush is a bit bigger but they're both wonderful for the same function basically and this one you can also use for um, like a, a cream blush, it will work just fine. So once again, gazillion different functions for the same brushes. Then, oh, and this one costs $10. So it's a little pricey as well, I guess. Then the blush brush. This is probably my favorite blush. Uh, brush, not blush, brush. In <laughs> um, this one, it's huge as well, as you can see. So you could easily apply, you know, just like powder all over but I use this for bronzer I use this for blush and I actually don't use it for powder I use it mostly for blush and, and bronzer I love this brush I can't this is probably my favorite out of all of them and I think it's the most unique and, and nice and beautiful this one costs nine dollars and because they're all synthetic no matter how many times you wash them the shape will always be fine there, you don't you don't have to mess up with the shape and you know anything like that when you have a natural bristle kind of brush then I have the setting brush which is another one of like it reminds me of the contour but it's a much smaller so when I bought this one it became my favorite to set my pat you know put setting powder under my concealer and even do like a, you know set concealer all over the my concealer powder all over the face and highlight this works fine as well um, this one is eight dollars and then lastly I have the kabuki brush which also I won't say it disappointed me when I saw it online and when I actually got it in the mail because I thought it was gonna be a bigger kabuki brush but it's not that huge it's actually very tiny and the cool feature about this brush is that it has a magnet that you open. So the little kabuki brush becomes whatever you want to become. It could be a blush. It's wonderful for contouring because it fits right in there on your face. And it's easy to travel. Sometimes I carry this in my bag if I, you know, if I need if I need to touch up something during the day. So it's a very cute brush. Um, very unique design. All of these, all of these brushes, they feel very, very nice and high quality, and well designed. And very like, you know, farm compared to some of the brushes you pay a fortune for, and it's not that great. Um, the Kabuki brush, lastly, costs ten dollars. So, you know, overall, and you can buy a little at the time and, and build your collection. I pretty much have all of them except for three, and. I'm very happy with them. I must say that they're my two gold brushes on my on my dresser when I'm getting ready in the morning because I know I go for them and there's no surprises. They, they they'll do the job just like they should. Anyway, so my grade for this these brushes is definitely an A plus. Um, very innovative, very nice, and very nicely priced as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Please like the video as well and subscribe to my channel so you stay tuned to all the other new videos that will be coming up. Uh, thank you and have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye.